wind chill below zero right now. Looks rather nice. And how do you peacocks do in this kind of weather? We found out after 37 years, we didn't have a very good last couple weeks. We've had to go through some really extraordinary measures to keep our water flowing. And if it freezes, we're in big trouble. It looks nice right now, as you can see, but it's below zero. I've used straw to cover all around our hydrant that we get our water supply for our birds. And this is what it looks like. It's hard to believe that this is a heat wave here in Iowa. It's 11 degrees above zero Fahrenheit. And we have to go through extraordinary methods just to keep our birds with water that doesn't freeze. We had to hook up a cord from the barn to the back pen, which is over 100 feet in length. And we hooked it up and we put it through the, to the pen so that the water will stay unfrozen. You might recall those pea chicks that I mailed in. They have survived the 20 degrees below zero Fahrenheit temperatures along with wind chills that were 45 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. And we use this water device, which is electricity, and it keeps the water good, they say, to zero degrees. The good news is that the waterer kept the water from freezing solid even to 20 below zero that we had recorded on our thermometers. I'm not really overly thrilled with having all these electrical cords out to the water heaters, but it's a small price to pay to keep your birds alive and having fresh water for them during some of the most horrible conditions during wintertime in North America. The cords do not seem to get in the way of the peacocks, as you can see. They're on the floor here, and we got cords going back to the other pen right over here and the good news is that the birds have adapted so well to that. Now these are those birds that are my new Cameo Oaten Bloodline and they have handled the below zero temperature so well along with my friend back behind me here, Buddy the Peacock. You've seen him before in some of our videos. What happened in 1989 we had about three to four days of below zero temperatures and we didn't lose a single bird. Unfortunately, at the time of the taping of this, we've lost nine of our birds, none from this pen, and some of our whites, some of our blues, and some of our outside birds. And here's what happens in the winter time. Your birds have to drink water within three days or they cease to exist. They do not want to get up from keeping their feet warm and sometimes putting their head under their wings to keep warm. And that becomes a major problem. You need to get to your birds, make them get up, give them a treat, do something to get them to exercise and things will work out pretty well for your birds. We have done everything in our power to keep our birds safe for 37 years. We never expected a cold wave as low as this one, 20 degrees below zero Fahrenheit to last up to two weeks and we still have three or four more days that we're watching our birds carefully. Fortunately I'm home and I can come out several times during the daytime and have to dress up like like a Eskimo from the North Pole or one of Santa's helpers. Um, it's cold and you have to take care of yourself first before you take care of your birds. Today is a real warm day. It's 11 degrees above zero and the wind chills are about five degrees below zero Fahrenheit. And the birds are acting like it's summer. Winter weather sure has a way of equalizing everybody from experienced breeders of peacocks to inexperienced peacock breeders. I thought I knew everything I needed to know about keeping my birds safe. Well, I learned a few new tricks this winter with the 20 degrees below zero Fahrenheit temperatures that we've had for two plus weeks. And I also learned too that if you have a good breeding stock, 
and they're kept well throughout the rest of the year, they will do even better in the winter time. You have to be careful because no matter all you do and all you try, there's no guarantee that you won't lose a bird or two or three or four or more if you get bad, severe winter conditions no matter how hard you try. Remember, we're at the mercy of Mother Nature.